good morning everyone uh, my name is Nanana Molan Akbar today uh, I want to uh, tell you a story about uh, Kazuki Takahashi the famous inventor he's the inventor of Yu-Gi-Oh card you know it's a famous uh, card game in the past uh, few years and today I want to tell you about his success story and also what uh, struggle he's been uh, happen. Okay, so start is with this. I create this PPT about him. So let's start. The first is about first is about his biography. Uh, this is the picture of. Kasuki Takahashi family, uh, this is him, this one, and this is his, his mother, uh, this is uh, his, unfortunately, there's, uh, his dad aren't here, so this is only his brother, these two are his brother, and uh, this one is his sister. So, Kas Kazuo Takahashi, also known as Kasuki Takahashi, was a Japanese manga artist. Uh, he is best known as the author of Yukio, born in Tokyo on October 4, uh, 1961. And he lived with his parents and his dad name is Seiji Takashi and his mom is Sayuri Takashi. Uh, also, it's not a, a businessman. It's just a normal, a normal like uh, I think it's a... Uh, farmer or something like that and he also lived with his sister and brothers in his childhood he drew artwork of manga he enjoyed such a tiger mess ultra man uh, and unfortunately he already died on july 4th uh, 2022 due to uh, drowning next is the challenge and success story so first i will explain about his challenges and difficulties uh, this is the picture of him before eh, this is picture of him in 2002 yeah this picture of him in 2002 uh, first uh, i will explain about the challenges and difficulties this increase in his studies that as he was saying by his homeroom teacher as the poop machine that non nothing except sleeping and pooping so he got bullied not only with the student also with the teacher in his uh, school and also in front of the other student of course it's a uh, very very not polite and not humanity at all and because of that he angered by humiliation Takahashi decided to become a manga artist. So from the uh, middle school, he decided himself to become the manga artist. Uh, since kids, he liked to draw uh, manga and something like that. And uh, next, Takahashi explained that he experienced extreme pro poverty as his home lacked electricity and he made 36 time of credit card installment in a magazine. So he got, also got uh, difficulties to in his home, uh, such as his, there's no electricity there. And I think it's very difficult for an artist like him in the past. So next, uh, there's not a lot of challenges and difficult story in Takahashi. But I think it's now to explain about uh, the beginning of success story of him. In 1981, at, at the age of 20, Takashi tried to publish his first manga, submitted under the pen name of Hajime Miyabi. When the Sogakuken, Sogakuken New Comic Award and was published in Weekly Sonin Sunday at the same year. So this is his first uh, manga and um, in the name of Hajime Miyabi before he changed his name to Takahashi uh, this is the, the weekly sonen is like 
Japanese uh, newspaper and TV TV channel. Yeah, uh, so then is weekly channel in Japan. Also, his serial debut was in 1986. So, uh, he start to become famous in 1986 with GOG Choji Ikiman. Uh, this the the author, also the TV owner of in Japan, an adaptation of the TV sport anime of the same name. So that uh, like the what the first I explained earlier, and it also published in Kotansha's Weekly Sonen magazine. It's like a magazine and also a newspaper in Japan. So he got published there. So next is the beginning of Yu-Gi-Oh! Trading Card Game. So this is the uh, the first time he become very very famous because of this name. He create this name. So let's explain Yu-Gi-Oh! and Konami. So I will explain later why I also input Konami in this uh, PPT. In 1996, Takashi launched Yukio under the pen name Kazuki Takashi. So this is the first time. This is the time he changed from uh, Miyabi into Kazuki Takahashi, and also now known as Kazuki Sensei. The secret became a huge success and uh, and has sold more than 40 million copies. So. Uh, first time he introduced Yu-Gi-Oh into the public, and in unexpected way, it sell uh, fourteen million copies in within uh six six until through six weeks until seven months. Yeah, and it also received several media adaptation notability. An anime television series and a trading card game development by Konami. So this is why I include Konami in here in PPT with Kazuki Takahashi, because Konami uh seek a change, seek opportunity in Kazuki Takahashi itself because they want uh to collab together and make uh, him success in no time. And he also uh, become the Guinness World Record of best-selling trading card game in history, with more than twenty-five point one billion cards sold as of two thousand and eleven. Also, uh, he also create a game uh, for Yukio itself, and so not only uh, in two thousand and eleven he. Uh, sell he sold a lot of copy of cards and manga since 2004. Uh, I didn't mention in here because I want to explain and make you understand about it. And the last is in 2015, Takashi received in the Import Award from Comic Con International for his outstanding contribution in comic. So he become the one famous Comic Con in Japan in 2015 until 2020. And he uh, sold a lot of copies and make a lot of money of it, okay? And he also uh, the one of contribution to the comic in Japan. I think it's more famous than Naruto. And last year, this is the his mangas. Manga, uh, he already created. Uh, first is Yukio Duel Monsters. In 19, 80, 1998, this is the first time he introduced uh, Yukio in the, around the world. And next is Yukio GX in 2005. After he received, after he uh, finished the story in Yukio Monster, he began a adapt. Adep- uh, stories from his assistant about Yukio GX and make it into a manga and anime, and also the five Ds in two thousand and eight Yukio five Ds, also the adaptation from his assistant, 
And the last is Yukio Dark Side of Dimension. This is his own version of Yukio. This is the adaptation from Yukio Monster into Yukio Dark Side of Dimension itself. So, okay, I think that's all for me. Uh, this is my last. Per this is my presentation. Uh, I'm sorry for the miss. Anything I miss, maybe uh, something like that you that not relate and uh, make you all uh, uncomfortable. I'm sorry about that. And thank you for your attention and goodbye.